when we had last left the Spacefarer. They had engaged in a most unlikely task. Indeed, they were to enter a covert status and infiltrate their own place of work, Ryujin Industries. However, doing such a wild task would hopefully get them one step closer to unveiling who was the Super Mole within the company and who and why what were they doing? And now, with a cool program planted, courtesy of Super Hacker Nix, planted on Ularu Chen's computer, they would perhaps uncover a revelation most shocking. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Let's head on back down and uh, have a look around, right? Actually, where where do we have to go? Yeah, meet Nix at his apartment. Okay. Oh, this is fun. Okay. Oh, wow, look at all this. We get quite the little... I mean, I don't really know what any of this is. What is this? Is this, like, scaffolding used for constructing an elevator? Huh. Okay. Sure. If only we had some way to get off from the the top of the building, you know, something maybe could pick us up. If only we had some sort of great vehicle that could uh, do vertical takeoff and landing and all sorts of like maneuvering through the sky and atmosphere and stuff like that. If only we had some sort of incredible machine that could, <laughs> that could pick us up up there. Some kind of, some kind of boat that could go through uh, an area, you know, a void area, an area boat. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is really bad. Let's go on down here. Let's see. I guess we'll just walk along the the fun catwalk steps or whatever you call these. There we are. And then, follow our marker. Great. And then... Oh. We don't have to go to sausages? Okay. Oh, right, yeah, they wanted us to meet back at their apartment at their better computer. Sure. Okay. Here we are. Wow, I didn't even realize there were apartments here. This is just Nix's apartment? <laughs> that's, that's all that goes back here? Nix, I think you got another guest outside. I saw someone there. Okay. Wow. Neon's the only place where my talents are actually respected. Whoa, what is this music? Okay. Jeez, you got quite a few monitors, huh? I don't think we've ever heard this song Make anywhere else in the game, huh? Just don't take any souvenirs. <laughs> yeah, of course you sleep like this. <laughs> of course, of course you do. Of course this is your bed. Right? Of course. Why would it not be? Perfect. Chunks and booze, sushi rolls, cappuccino, onion. Yeah, they knew what they were doing when they were putting stuff in here. They are coming! Help. What the fuck is going on? What is going on? What's going on? There's... We're not playing around anymore, right? We're not- we're not fucking around with this theory, right? This is real shit. Circles being everywhere? This is real shit, isn't it? This, we're not fucking around. We're not joking. This isn't some kind of fucking game. This is real, right? This is this confirms that th this is real, <laughs> right? There is a reason why circles show up fucking everywhere in this game. Look, this weird, creepy-looking picture of someone looking like a little bit, little bit of a freak, but it's a circle. Okay. 
Anything else of interest in here? Couch. You take care of the right people. They take care of you. Hey, you know what? What is shocking about uh, the sort of clutter in Starfield? There are no video game systems. Right? There are no like consoles or uh, video games at all. Video games exist in Fallout, right? Video games canonically do exist and you can find them in Fallout 4 and 76. That's wild. If anything, I would have expected it to be the other way around, right? There's There was never a point in time where <laughs> wherein I was playing Fallout thinking like, man, don't you think people in Fallout <laughs> pre-war would have video games? <laughs> There was never a point in time when I thought that that at all, right? But here, within Starfield, it's messed up. When in a guy here, like me shit, is in this apartment, people carving chasm or working a desk job. I can't stop thinking about it. Also, what was eight five thirteen? Huh? Oh, you know what? If Starfield came out in 2023, toward the tail end, what if 8.5.13 is the date that they officially began any degree of development on, on Starfield, right? We know that they have roughly a 10-year cycle for their games, roughly speaking, right? At least in, in current day. Right. Uh, well, we, we at the very least, we know that they had this for Fallout 4 and Starfield. Wherein, well, I, I guess we don't know for certain. But roughly we know there's about 10 years. Five years of pre-development, like pre-production, and then five years full production. Right? Conceptual stuff, and then full-on, like, generating assets and whatnot left and right every day and testing it, right? What if this is the day that they began development on Starfield, huh? I'd believe it. Okay. Nix, what's up? So, you made it. Guess Ryujin's security really is slipping. Ryujin's security is the best there is. I'm just that good. It surprises me that someone hasn't already taken them down. <laughs> Listen, Nix. Ryujin's security is the best there is. I'm just that good. Just brimming with confidence, aren't you? But I've seen your work in the Trade Tower, so I'll at least give you some credit. Now, I'll take that program back that I gave you, and let's give the data a look. Okay, let's let's give it a look. God, I hope I can say enhance or something. Okay. Sure. I'm surprised you only have like I one coffee mug here. Laura's computer basically opens an all-access back door for me. I can see everything and anything. So let's take a look. Oh my God! A circle. <laughs> Laura has some impressive <laughs> encryption on her files. Not that I can't crack it, of course. Circumventing protections, running decryption. What is this? this you just got like matrix now. vision. Damn, I'm good. That went faster than I thought. Okay, I'm let's take several files to leave the show to me. including access history and anything related to Project Dominion. Adding in new encryption for him as well, so he's the only one that can view these. And done. You're all set. Okay. You're not gonna tell me what you found or anything? Did you even peek? Interesting stuff. Good thing I'm well paid. I've got the new encrypted slate. Let me tell you, it looks like fun times ahead for Ryujin. Technically, I'm not supposed to look, but it's kind of hard to not see what's going on while running all my software. Okay, tell me, well, what did you see? I'll get the slate to Dalton right away. Don't keep me in suspense, share that knowledge. I'll be sure to let Dalton know you violated your agreement. <laughs> I love either of these two. Obviously, I want to know. But also... 
<laughs> when I say I'll be sure to let Dalton know you violated your agreement. <laughs> I'll be sure to let Dalton know you violated your agreement. Go ahead. I'd like to see him do anything about it. Besides, he knows it's not a risk where I'm concerned. As for you, you may want to loosen up a little. Straight-laced little whistleblowers have a tendency to either wind up dead or disappear. Here's the slate. As usual, always a pleasure doing business with Ryujin. Shit. I was hoping he would still, still tell us a little bit about what it was. Which, you know what, maybe that implies that he wouldn't have told us anyway. Hey. Not in a rush, I see. How can we even trust if you aren't manipulating the files yourself? Well, we can't, right? We we just have leverage, right? Who's that's what uh, what's his bot said, huh? Hey, I have a reputation to live up to here. The moment I start giving misinformation is when I get tossed off the platform. Tampering with these files doesn't benefit me at all. I screw Rujin, I screw Bayu, who I also work for. I screw Bayu, I screw myself. Right, okay, and that's who he wanted the other Camden's data for, right, Bayou. How accurate is this evidence of yours? It's dead on if you want hard evidence. Dalton's problem, and yours, I imagine, is that the people you're dealing with at Ryujin in that operations department are almost at my level. When it comes to data manipulation and covering tracks, they're royalty. The real question is how much of the evidence can be believed. Ah... Any ideas how Imogene may have pulled this off? Imogene's real good. I worked with her a lot in her days as a field op back when she was Alara's protege. According to the data, you can bet the relationship between those two is the key. If anyone could get Alara to make the slightest slip, it'd be Imogene. Huh. Well, we have some insight into what it was all about. It, it's almost as if we needed to... Like, they expected us to ask what was on the data slate. Have okay. fun dealing with Ryujin security. Let's see here. Yeah, return to Dalton. Let's see, can I somehow look at it myself here? No. Shit. Alright, let's head on back. Good, good, good. And then, over that away. Over here. Great. Oh, look out, everyone. Oh, oh. There we go. Okay, back into Neon Core, Bayou Plaza. I'm, I'm guessing we'll have to go pay a visit to Imogene then. It sounds like Ularu really is guilty as charged, based on what uh, Nick said. I mean, we don't we, we don't know for certain, but it definitely seems that way. Okay, over here and executive. Whoa, hold up! Actually, I almost forgot. We need to get Hadrian back. Let's run over here back to the Trade Authority. I'm so winded, I'm double breathing. People joke. Hey, Hadrian. Say those Varun zealots worship a snake. But let me tell you, it ain't a snake. It's some kind of celestial being. They call it the Great Serpent. Is it real? Hell if I know. But they think it is. And that makes them dangerous. Okay, yeah. Great. Uh, Hadrian, I'd like you to follow me for a while, resistant to energy damage. Let's get moving. Maybe we should set up more posts. Man, her name is just always going to be that now. I can't imagine living anywhere. Okay. If anything, what's really weird about it is that her name, when I'm looking at her, like right now in the HUD, isn't resistant to energy damage as well. Right? It would make more sense to me if every instance of her name showing up actively was that, but it's only when we talk to her. Okay. Executive level. 
won't begrudge you an Aurora trip if you want one, but I'll pass. Oh, that's very nice of you. Okay, let's head on up here. Ryujin certainly spared no expense on their exact war. You know how to make the climb to the hey. up here. Dalton! Is it done? It is I done. I assume you are successful. I didn't get any incident reports last night, so I applaud your work. I wonder what would happen if you just legit rolled in and shot and killed everyone. <laughs> right? What if you just rolled in and shot them all dead? Uh, Nyx decrypted them without issue. Here's what he gave me. It was a success, but you definitely have some security issues to address. I got the files, but Nyx violated the agreement and saw what they contained. Should we tattle? Let's tattle. Let's be a little asshole. Nyx violated the agreement. I figured as much. Lucky for us, he doesn't have any motive to use this information against us. Now, let's see what we have here. Okay. It'll be just my luck if Dalton doesn't tell us either. Hmm. I didn't think it was possible. But someone's been accessing Ularu's files remotely. Oh. It's quite a complicated trace, too. I'm impressed Nyx was able to track all of this. Damn. And there's our culprit. Who, me? Uber you were Jean looking at me. Salzo, senior operations specialist, and one of the few I had in mind for who could pull this off. That can't be right. I don't believe it. Someone must be paying her a lot of credits to go against Ryujin like this. What motive would Imogen have to steal from Ryujin? What motive? Yeah. Well, the motive could be anything. Credits, grudges, even boredom. Okay, I mean, you're going to throw in boredom? What kind of security chief are you? <laughs> you're just, you're not going to rule that out? I mean, sure, it's plausible, but highly unlikely. Unless she's like some kind of deranged lunatic, which I don't think so. Huh. Well, someone must be paying her a lot of credits to go against Ryujin like this. Either that, or she's highly displeased with someone at the company. Well, before we make any harsh decisions, I'll need to question her myself. I want you to head to her office and escort her here. We have to make sure she doesn't try anything before I have a chance to speak with her. Okay. I'll keep a close eye on her. She wouldn't dare to try anything with me around. You don't want to get her yourself? What if she runs? You don't want to get her yourself? I just want to avoid a scene. Sending you keeps the rumor mill at bay. What if she runs? If she runs, the guilt will be apparent. And you'll have no choice but to dispose of her. Oh, as shit. As much as I'd like you to subdue her and bring her in, Imogene would never allow it. She knows what fate lies ahead for those who betray this corporation and get caught. Wait, what? If not being disposed of, what what, el what else happens? Huh. Okay, I'll keep a close eye on her. Good. When you're dealing with corporate workers, discerning the truth from the lies is the hardest part. Okay. Sure. Anything else around here? Don't cause any trouble. Okay. Let's My head on down. There we are. Great. Surprised they don't just like call her on the intercom or whatever, right? Call her to come over to security or whatever. Something like that. I'm a little busy right now. Try oh. not to harass my text too much. They have work to do. Hey, let me guess. You looking for Imogene? I, I am. I'm sure you can tell by now. She isn't here, which is a shame since I have several documents I need her to sign off on. She's always been the master of avoiding desk work. Oh my God. D did she know? How would she know? I need you to use your resources and tell me where Imogene is. I don't blame her. Desk work feels like a waste of time. When did you last see Imogene? Like how you avoided the interview process? 
When did you last see Imogene? She hasn't stepped into the office since the maintenance closure. Probably abusing her paid time off again. I know for a fact she doesn't have any external meetings or business trips. Oh man, okay. I like this. Like how you avoided the interview process? There are work skills and there are life skills. I can't help it if I have both. Well, let's keep up the ruse here. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame her. Desk work feels like a waste of time. Well, that desk work is what keeps your cred stick full and this company two steps ahead. So why are you looking for Imogene? Is she in trouble? It's confidential. Take it up with Dalton. You don't get to ask anything. I'm not here to gossip. Just tell me where Imogene is. Man, all of these are so bad and are giving it away, right? Like if she's informing Imogene, you know, she just so happened to be posted out here to see who was coming, right? If we want to get really paranoid about this, she's in cahoots with Imogene, right? At w to what degree? We don't know, but she could very easily be like, Imogene, yeah, the new, the newest operative was just here looking for you, right? If anything, we should play it cool and just be like, yeah, I need to check in after her latest work that we did. I want, yeah, I wanted to follow up on Tomo. I wanted to ask about Tomo. I, I was worried about that situation. A little attention, please. Huh. It's confidential. Take it up with Dalton. Yeah, no thanks. Getting information out of Dalton is like talking to a wall. Besides, speculation is far more fun. I have Imogene's last location at Frankie's Grab and Go, which we all know is a front for the Sioka Syndicate. You'll want to get executive sign-off if you plan on chasing after her. I'd say Dalton is your best bet. Alright, I'll speak to Dalton about it. I don't need anyone's sign-off. What do you think she's doing in Syndicate territory? Frankie's grab-and-go is a front for the Sioka Syndicate? What do you think she's doing in Syndicate territory? Your guess is as good as mine. But she's up to something. I could tell she was trying to cover her tracks, but this is my job. And there's a reason I'm in charge of the technicians here. Hmm. Maybe we'll learn more about what the hell is going on with the Sioka Syndicate. Okay. Well, we've kind of sussed out that the Sioka Syndicate does have a lot to do in and around Frankie's Crab and Go. Okay. It's a front? Is there an echo in the room? Yeah. Frankie's is a front. Crap convenience store on the outside, high tech hideout on the inside. Of course, the only people that really know that are Ryujin, Bayou, and the Syndicate itself. Okay. Well, I'll speak to Dalton about it. Uh, what if she's stalling for time, though? Hmm. I'll speak to Dalton. Good. I'd hate to see what sort of drama might get stirred up if you went around him. Or maybe I'd love it. Keep the workplace interesting, right? <laughs> Good luck finding Imogene. Oh, and if you do catch up with her, be sure to let her know I had everything to do with it. Hmm. Optional talk to Dalton on the executive office's floor. Oh. They're trying to waste my time, aren't they? They're absolutely trying to waste my time. What do you have to say? If I go and talk to him, it'll flag an event in this quest that I blew my time to go and get permission from him when I already have carte blanche to get the fucking shit done, right? All right, Yuko? Time to see if I can do a little more digging of my own. Can you tell me more about the Sioka Syndicate? The Syndicate is probably the biggest gang here in Neon, controlled by Benjamin Bayou himself. Of course, that's not a widely known fact. Most of the Syndicate only know him as an anonymous figurehead. We've used them on occasion ourselves. They're helpful when it comes to tying up loose ends or if you need a few extra guarantees. Mmm. How do I get to Frankie's grab and go? Head to Bayou Plaza and go down the alley by Enhance. Once you see sleep crates, hang a left and you're there. So besides pissing him off, what would happen if I didn't tell Dalton? If you dove right into the Syndicate's hideout, those consequences are going all the way up to Misako. They aren't just some random street gang, like the Strikers or Disciples. They have ties to Bayou, which means they have ties to us. Why are you keeping an eye on Imogene? I think of it as a hobby. What better way to keep my skills sharp than tracking Imogene? 
But before you go getting jealous, you should know by now that my team keeps an eye on pretty much everyone, especially those within operations. What do you expect when you specialize in sabotage? It's the right call. I don't trust anyone here either. It's a shame you don't trust your fellow employees more. I think at least Imogene would be trusted here. Isn't sabotage what you specialize in too? Do you think Imogene feels the same way about you? Don't you also specialize in sabotage? Touché. To be frank, I don't expect anyone here to trust me either. And if they did, they wouldn't last long. Trust can lead to a carelessness that we can't afford. Do you think Imogene feels the same way about you? Of course she does, because she's good at her job. That's why I respect her. Huh. It's a shame you don't trust your fellow employees around here more. Let's say that with the double entendre of us not trusting her, right? Yeah, it's a real pity considering what the job entails. Besides, it's not up to me. It's policy. Ooh, I like this. If she is actually, like, trying to stab me in the back and waste my time, that works so well, right? I, I love the way in which that is written as, like, double speak, you know? Okay. We're not going to go report to Dalton. I'm going straight to the lobby. We're going right to the Sioka Syndicate, because I think she's trying to burn time. Okay. Over here. Good. Let's head on over this way. Then over here. Good. Yeah, her whole situation seems shady as hell. Right? And, and it, like I said, if anything, I appreciate how how they wrote that with the exposition there to make it seem like, yeah, you're having a conversation about one thing, but you're actually having a conversation about something else if you're clued in. But ma maybe I'm completely off base. Bet I have credits to spend. Yeah, Frankie, I know about Hope all you're this. Paying customer. Until next time. Yeah, I'm about to I'm about to make you pay, Frankie. Oh shit, only a Sioka Syndicate keycard can open this. Whoa, whoa, where do you think you're going? Employees only. Huh. Lie, I have business with the Sioka Syndicate. They're expecting me. I'm looking for someone. I was told I could find them here. I was just looking for a bathroom. Huh. Ryujin would know. So if we if we openly mention Sioka Syndicate, it could work. I have business with the Syndicate. Oh, yeah? I don't see your name on my guest list. Now, why don't you tell me what you really want before I blow your brains out? I'm from Ryujin Industries. I just need to speak to a fellow operative. I know she's inside. Forget it. I don't need your help. Yeah, look, you can't trick me. I know you're using fucking finger guns here. I'm from Ryujin. I'm looking for another operative. I know she's in there. I know for a fact that young lady doesn't want to be disturbed. So why don't you take a hike? I thought you were gonna blow my fucking brains out. Huh. Still here? Damn. You're annoying. Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> Anything else here? Hmm. Gotta find another way in. Oh, there's a rooftop access. Okay. Hell yeah. I'm sick of life here, but I can't make enough credits Thank you. to leave. Handy dandy Stop. quest tracker. Oh. What is cool little yurt? Let's see. How in the hell can we get up there? Oh, look at this. Maybe here? Yeah, totally. Perfect. Got more 
more stairs. Good. I bet we could have also pickpocketed the key card off of her if we had pickpocket. Okay, let's pick into this. Let's see here. Well, that's not going to work. Yeah, none of these are going to work. We have to use our double. Good. Align that there, and this here. Great. Okay, we're trespassing. That's fine. Let's see. Should we maintain stealth or should we go fucking all in? I think let's maintain stealth. Okay. Maybe we're in a good way here. Coming in through the back or the top. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Hang on. Can we actually open this without drawing ire? Is it even possible? As soon as we popped that, it seemed like we got in deep shit. Okay. Let's see here. Good. All right, yeah, we just did it incorrectly. Look at this. What is that shit they got there? Okay, well, while you're looking at that, I'm going to go over here. Oh my god, Hadrian is with us. <laughs> it's just slunking around! Oh, fuck yeah. You know, I may also have some sneaky drugs. Uh -oh. Careful, Hadrian, careful. Shit! Alright, hang on. Let's use some sneaky time drugs, huh? Let's do that. Okay, Hadrian. Any new orders for me? Yeah. Uh Go back to your post. All right. I'll wait for your next order there. <gasps> they don't give a shit. Hadrian has like maximum stealth. Okay. Do I have sneak drugs? Movement speed, jump height. Slow time. Hmm. Health. Move speed. Oh, movement noise, Frost Wolf. Oh. Frost Wolf. But it's a cocktail of Whiteout and Recon Stim. So we may want Whiteout. Which, it being called Whiteout now makes so much sense, right? Within the purview of Ryujin Industries, it being called Whiteout is so fucking cool, right? Because it, if it's a drug used by, like, operatives such as us, calling the drug for stealth Whiteout is dope as shit. The only issue is that we had no idea that it was under such context, so it made zero sense before. <laughs> but with that, now that we know the context for it, holy shit, what a great name. Okay. Panopticon as well. Oh, maybe Recon Stim is, is the... Yeah. All right. Sure, let's go with Recon Stim. 
Sneaky activate. He 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 he. No one has to know. You didn't know shit. Okay. I mean, it sounds like an Argonian voice actor. Sure, taking down shop owners is all good, but I'm just waiting. Oh shit! What the fuck had detected me here? Oh my gosh! All right, what's our way through? What is our route through here? Huh? Bad move. Join your face. Yeah. We may just have to kill him. Right? Look at all this. Okay. Fuck it. I think we just fucking go in here guns blazing. Fuck it. We're, we're shooting them up. Okay. Bayou be damned. Okay. We'll sneak as best we can, but if we get caught, fuck it. You know? Let's look for... Panopticon. There we go. Our frost wolf would have been good too. Good. Is there like another access point that we can use though? If we want to go stealth mode? I don't think so. I don't even know where that one goes. Well, this is like bomb. Okay. Good. All right. Yep. Fuck it. We're going in. Okay. Oh, shit. Hey, let's let's reload. Let's have Hadrian stand back. That way, we at least go in non-lethal. <laughs> if we're gonna go loud, let's do it non-lethal. Because this might be one of the few times that the game is actually checking, right? Okay. I don't happen to have another Nova Blaster, do I? No. Okay. Hadrian, you fall back. Hey. Head back to the ship. Yes, Captain. Travel safely. Okay. Good. We'll wait a bit for her to zone out, I think. Great. Okay. Can I get him in one shot? Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Can I get them in one shot? Is it possible to one shot him? It looked like I was lining up a headshot for real, but it totally whiffed. Okay. Yeah, there we are. And I think they detected us anyway. Alright. We're going in non-lethal loud. Okay. Watch my back. Whew. Easy fire. Oh. <clears throat> you know what? I can hear it how um originally it was planned that the protagonist of Starfield would be voiced and that the male protagonist was voiced by um what's his name fucking uh, Elias Tufaxis now that we're hearing like wound noises I can't unhear it right we totally sound like Sam Coe right now 
Put some pressure on him. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to tell if we've got a charge going. There may actually be a takedown, like a stealth takedown, an armed stealth takedown in this game. That may legit exist if you go under the uh, unarmed tree or like perk line. Hang on, let's actually check that. I'm super curious now. Does it does it like legit exist? Huh. Chance to disarm. No. Well, no, there was another one, wasn't there? What was it called, though? Neuro Strikes. After stunning an enemy, you can also knock down any enemies within close range. Oh. Okay. Sure. Good. Recharge your... KO there. At least I think. Alright. Look, if they blow up their own people, I can't help that. Oh shit, there was no charge. Oh my gosh, we really need more audio-visual feedback on this charge thing. The little rumble ain't cutting it. Oh look. Oh my gosh. They system shocked. Okay. slide. Let's see. Where in the hell do we even need to go for this? Alright. That's my blood. Over here. Over here. Ah, this way. We were headed the right direction, roughly. Jesus, man. Okay. Man, that's a level 62 right there. Fuck. Is there another one? That dude gonna poke back out? I think maybe they fucked off. Okay. In we go. Back room. Hold it right there, Arthur. I need you to back down and give me a chance to explain. Alright. You better start explaining. I had a feeling you'd be the one to come after me. You got some explaining to do. Someone sure looks guilty hiding out here. What the hell is going on? Are you really working for Infinity LTD? How'd you even know about the investigation? Are you really working for Infinity? Yes and no, but mostly no. Just hear me out, okay? How did you even know about the investigation? You stay in this business long enough, you get enough favors and connections that can help you see anything coming. Nix owed me a favor, and gave me the heads up. Oh. Uh, okay. Someone sure looks guilty hiding out here. Yeah? 
And I didn't look guilty before, based on those files you got from Nyx. Ularu set me up. Yes, I've been acting as a double agent, but because she ordered me to. The assignment was meant to deceive, not benefit. And Project Dominion is way above my pay grade. It'd be impossible for me to deliver it. At least, intentionally. Intentionally? Help me understand what you're saying. Sounds like a load of crap to me. How can I believe anything you say? You think Ularu did this? How can I believe anything you say? I'm not the one with motive here. First, right. I'm not about to reboot my life. Second, I'm not spending the rest of my life looking over my shoulder for the next field op they'd send after me. You think Ularu did this? Of course. But first you have to understand, she used me to play an unwitting part in this, so I'm the one that takes the fall. That's why I said it'd be impossible for me to intentionally pull this off. Yeah, like, you're right that you don't have a motive and Ularu totally does, but that in and of itself makes it so wild that Ularu would decide to have you take the fall, right? <laughs> Someone who makes, it makes like no sense to take the fall. Right? Which, in and of itself, that being so senseless is enough for me to wonder if you are also, in some part, guilty by intent. Huh. Intentionally? Help me understand what you're saying. Look, I only know about Project Dominion because I wanted to know exactly what I was being accused of leaking. But that tech is dangerous. An internal neuroamp that can theoretically control other people? If the evidence points to me, it's because Ularu used it to set me up. What better way to frame someone than to take control of their mind and have them actually perform the actions? You have a good point. It's also the perfect cover for what you did. That sounds ridiculous. Like mind control. What would Ularu's motive be? Why would Ularu set you up? So what's Ularu's motive? Power, of course. Corporations maintain their success by any means necessary, but there are some measures Masako is reluctant to take. You may have noticed that none of your assignments directly involve murder. Masako reserves those actions only when it's absolutely necessary. Ularu sees this as a sign of weakness that needs to be dealt with. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's not how I would have implicated Ularu. It was by that other data that we found in which Ularu was buddying up with the former owners of Ryujin. Right? That, that seems closer to a smoking barrel if there ever was one. Huh. Okay. Why would Ularu set you up? Because she knows I'm the most believable target. Are you? I'm the only one at Ryujin with the skills to even come close to being able to pull off a job like this. I guess so. But you have, like, no motive for real. Like, you're right. You don't have a motive at all. Which is wild in and of itself. Okay. That sounds ridiculous. Mind control? That's what makes it dangerous. No one would believe it. So, if Ryujin keeps this tech a secret, suddenly every deal, every legal matter, every little thing is going to go their way. If this is all true, you'll need evidence to prove it. Save your explanations for Dalton. You could be after Ularu's job. Framing her gets her out of the way. So you're saying Ularu made you do all this, and you didn't even know? I don't think so. Right? I thought she... I thought they didn't have the mind control shit yet, if it exists. Right? I thought that she... she uh, when she said that she made her do it, she meant, like, literally through the mind control. <laughs> right? I thought, I thought it meant, like, she ordered her to do it by way of, like, being her management. Or her, her like, superior. And thus would Hello? boot her from the company or something else. Right? By way of leverage, not by way of mind control. Okay. Well, you're saying Ularu made you do all this, and you didn't even know? Yes. It's what the technology does, and it explains why the evidence against me is so solid. Come to think of it, 
It also explains a few strange bouts of disorientation I've been having the past few months. Huh. Okay. How do you know I'm not being mind controlled right now too? How do <laughs> What if what if it's happening to me as well right here right now? <laughs> okay. You could be after Ulara's job. Framing her gets her out of the way. I know it doesn't look good, but that's exactly why I've been gathering my own evidence. Ularu has the skill to pull this off, but she's also been behind a desk for years now. I knew she'd miss something. This slate holds all the evidence against her. I just need you to deliver it to Dalton. It's the only way I can prove I'm innocent. Oh, decide Imogene's fate. I'll make sure Dalton gets this new evidence. Dalton gave me orders to bring you in. Evidence or not, you're coming with me. What makes this evidence more believable than the data Nyx provided? Attack, you're a traitor and I won't allow you to live. What makes this evidence more believable than the data Nyx provided? Nyx's contract limits his investigation to Ularu's computer and her network activity. I hacked into building security and was able to recover deleted records of her accessing the Project Dominion prototype. I guarantee the third-party company Dalton is using for his security directive Theta won't even notice it. I'll make sure Dalton gets this new evidence. Dalton gave me orders to bring you in. Evidence or not, you're coming with me. <sighs> there is also the possibility that Dalton is privy to more than he seems, right? What if he's intentionally doing all of this as well? What if he's not privy to it, but he's being mind controlled as well, right? Because we were set, what if we were all set up to find, yeah, in fact, we were definitely set up. So it, it's entirely within the realm of possibility that Dalton is also, um, like, absolutely fucked up. Hey, are we talking? Is compromised in this. And is like pro Ularu. If Ularu is and it seems this way, right? By virtue of finding that um that data or the the conversation or the, or whatever it was, a missive about Ularu and um the Saito brothers, right? That definitely implicates Ularu, I think. It's the, the only issue is that the motives are a little mixed up. Imogene's motive is a little inconclusive relative to our working theory. But yeah, I, I think... And, and it may well be that no matter what we choose here, listening? she has to go into Dalton. It sounds like no, though, if we pick the top one. Right? I'm inclined to believe her, and I'm also doubly inclined to think that Dalton is compromised, whether he knows it or not. Right? I, f I feel like I would be... If we had done the Ryujin quest arc first, I would be more likely to, to laugh and question whether or not mind control exists in this world. Right? I would be keen to think like, oh, yeah, mind control. They're, they're just like... They're playing... A card here wherein you know that mind control effectively exists within Elder Scrolls and thus exists within Hello? this engine or could exist within this engine but the rug pull is the the like trick here the deception is that it doesn't exist within Starfield because it's so grounded right however we have done the UC Vanguard quest arc first and we know for a fact that mind control does exist in this world, right? We have seen it by way of the terror morphs when they attacked uh, New Atlantis. Remember? They had some form of, like, telepathy by which they were able to, to like, mind control civilians and stuff and make them go buck wild. You know? It wasn't, like, direct mind you control, but, listening? you know, mind control from some sort of monstrous beast. Right, as it were. So, I have no doubt that mind control could exist and that this could be legit. Right? Also, also I, I think there were perks that right, give you influence over people in, in such a way. I wonder if that's a, the thinking behind that. 
right? That you're leveraging this mind control device when you do that. Then again, similarly, it could be like your your weird, um, I'm touching alien shit power. You know? It could be either of those. Anyway, yeah, I'll make sure Dalton gets this new evidence. I was hoping you would. I'm still going to lay low until I hear the coast is clear. As long as Ularu still thinks I'm on the run, she'll remain confident that her plan is working. And I know you don't hear it much around the office, but thanks. Huh. Okay. Evidence against Ularu. Opening files. Failed to open files. Authorization code needed. Fennis Dalton. Dude, I think Dalton is absolutely compromised. Why would they not be? We need to be questioning... Like, anybody could be compromised at this point. If we're legit... If legit, we are dealing with mind control. Fucking anybody could be on the... On the payroll, so to speak. What else do we have over here? Oh, nice. <laughs> you got, like, the, the space hookah. Red ale. I'll have a slurp. Okay. Ionic liquids. Cool hat. No body for me, though. Anything else in here? No. We could check this. Okay. Good. Take the ammo, take the credits. Oh, the pistol's pretty valuable as well. At least to sell. Okay. Do you have anything else to say? I always believed that oh, you Lara do. thought of me as her protege. But all this time, I was just a scapegoat. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Yuko situation. By the way, Yuko wanted me to let you know that she's the one who gave me your location. Actually, let's exhaust the questions first. What do you think Ularu's plan is? Ularu wants Masako gone, but she doesn't have a legitimate reason to get the board to fire her. Instead, Ularu creates the very situation we're in now to make her look bad. The board sees Masako as a risk and votes her out. And, with the Project Dominion prototype at her disposal, Ularu can guarantee they'll make her the next CEO. Huh. What are your thoughts on Project Dominion? Extremely dangerous and way too powerful for human consumption. Obviously, the benefits to Ryujin would be infinite. But, as Ularu herself has proven, no one should be trusted with that kind of power. Right. God, I want it to exist within this world, though. <laughs> right? I want I want something fucked up like that to exist within the world of Starfield. And and maybe true enough, there's there's no it's 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 inevitable that it exists, right? Even if we stop it here in this game, hey, if there is ever a Starfield 2 in the future, uh so very easily it could be the case that it exists there, you know? If Dalton doesn't believe the evidence, what will you do? If Dalton really believes I'm involved in this, then I'm on the run. I hate the idea of uprooting my life, but I'd have no choice at that point. And Ulara will probably send every operative she believes capable after me. Okay, well, by the way, Yuka wanted me to let you know that she's the one who gave me your location. Oh, great. That'll be just what I need if this all blows over. Let's just hope she keeps her mouth shut on this one. The last thing I need is to be the highlight of office gossip when I get back. Well, that, and she'll never let me forget it. Huh. Okay. So Yuka wasn't actually in cahoots with you at all. Yuka was just weird and smarmy. Weird. I wonder what talking to Dalton would have gotten us. Unless Dalton is in on it and is being controlled by Ularu. Right? And Dalton is feeding info to Ularu. And then, therefore, if we went and re and informed Dalton, then maybe he would have something, or Ularu would have something extra missing? later? 
I don't know. Maybe it would just give uh, Imogene time to escape fully. Right? And all we would find is a data slate or something here. Huh. Because they definitely have it set up to where this final room, you very intentionally load into it. And I would, I could very easily see it be like, it plays out differently or you're not in here. You know, by way of instancing this off, you can have all sorts of different things go on. You know? Okay. Well, holy cow. Uh, what a, what a cool bit of intrigue. Fucking Ryujin Industries quest arc is really popping off right now. We, we got through with a lot of the more mundane tasks that gets us started, and now we're, we're really into some uh, major intrigue, I think. And uh, also mind control. So that's very fun as well. All right. Well, I suppose when next we come back, we will head back to the tower. Uh, I don't know if they're going to let me out of here, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how we're going to get out of here. <laughs> the, the interesting thing as well is the way in which Benjamin Bayou by way of the Sioka Syndicate, is now involved in this. You know? Huh. Okay. Yeah, a lot of things to consider and, and think about, and uh, we'll see where it heads. Until next time, please take care of each other.